We are going to see an example for the head group management tools based on the design you can see here on the screen, which I had prepared. And it consists on a scallop at the top, a corner element on the right and a corner element on the left, as well as some details or elements in the middle. And on the right hand side and on the left hand side, we have individual elements as well. In order to start the head group management tools, I go to file, new file, and in the win appearing window, I go and select head group, head grouping project. On the appearing window, the first thing I do is I choose the machine model I'm going to use, which is in my case a TMAR BF. Then I select the amount of heads the machine has, the frame drive, which is W in my, in my example, as well as uh, the uh, grouping. So I want, to, I want to control individual heads. That what, that's why I choose individual. And at the end, I also select the uh, embroidery area for the width, 330 millimeters, and the height, which is 450 millimeters. This will launch a new window, as you can see, with the name Head Group 1 where we have a preview of all the 12 heads at the top and then we have a cycle. First cycle, which you can see here, a little window that will show the preview of the design element. With uh, We have four functions, first load, then position, manual and edit. So let's load our first design element I will choose the PXF file that I have prepared for the scallops, which is here, the border. And once we have selected it, it will show up in the little preview window there. As you can see, the uh, next step is I will switch on the individual heads. I want this scallops to be embroidered and that's going to be head 2 until head 11. Head 1 and Head 12 will be uh, inactive for the Feston. Then we launch the uh, design itself, the little scallops, because I would like to position them properly. In order to do so, you see there's a preview of the uh, embroidery area of the head I'm going to use. So I select the uh, scallops, all the segments, and position them at the top of the uh, preview grid, aligning the left hand side exactly to that's the uh, limit of the uh, of the head left side. And I zoom it in real big so I can work with precision. What I did here is I changed to needle number six, which has this color. And as a next step, I will draw a rectangle around the uh, scallop area, which will help me for po positioning reasons. So once I have that, I select uh, all of the segments and I copy them into the clipboard. Once I have that, I can delete the rectangle and save my file. Once it's saved, you see it's going to show up in the position which we chose. Then I'm going to create the next cycle, number two, and load the next element for it, which is going to be the corner on the right hand side. Again, it's going to show that particular element on the preview going to embroider that one with head number one. Click on the edit button in order to position this part or this element properly. So we zoom out and you can see a preview again of the, of the embroidery area of the head we're using, in this case head number one. I paste the scallops which I had copied before and we're going to move them to the head which is on the left hand side of head one in this case that is the embroidery area of head number two 
zooming in really big so I can position the scallops and the rectangle exactly where they are intended to be or they are positioned and you see that's why I created the rectangle so I can see where the limit is on the, on the top then we are going to choose all the segments belonging to the uh, corner design and move it to the head number one embroidery area side so that it aligns properly with the scallop with the beginning of the scallop I zoom in really big so I can do it uh, with precision well that looks good to me and once we are done with it we can delete the rectangle and the scallops so what I did here is I copy and paste the uh, that part again for for the next cycle save it and we can see the corner is positioned exactly where I wanted it to be so it's good to save our projects every or routinely that's going to be an HGPROJ5 extension we save it so now we have our project safe at least until this step cycle number two we're going to create the next cycle number three because we need to add now the corner on the left hand side so we go to load and we are loading the element which is the corner on the left pxf file again it will show up in the preview and we are going to embroider that part element with head number 11 so the W drive allows you to embroider into the embroidery area of the next head so that's why I chose 11 and we click on edit so we can position now the corner on the left hand side so I paste the the uh, scallops again because we need to position them on top and on the right hand side so on the right hand side so that we can move the uh, corner part and zoom in again in order to position it exactly where we want it to be okay this looks good once we're done with that we delete the parts that we don't need and with control s we save that cycle so this was cycle number three you can see embroidered with hit number 11 but in the area of embroidery area of head 12 in the correct position we're going to create a new cycle again what we do now is we load the the little element that is on the uh, left hand side uh, below the corner element there it is so we would like to position it properly in order to be able to position it in the correct uh, area we load the corner the left corner again and we select it we also draw a rectangle so the rectangle with the rectangle tool you see serves me as a guide as a guide for the positioning so then I select both of them or all of these segments copy them into the clipboard 
and then we load the little detail on the left as we launch the preview again a new tab with the preview I'm going to paste what I had just copied to the clipboard before we can now position that well it's already in the right position as you can see so now we only need to select the the element on the left hand side all the segments belonging to that part and we will move it to the location that we want it to be we can also use the help of the ruler so place a guideline so we can align it properly then I'm going to take the existing rectangle there and drag it down and this will serve me copy all those parts into the clipboard because they're going to serve me as a good guideline for the other element which is uh, going to be on the right hand side once I've done that I delete all the parts that are not needed we change the color of the needle of that particular detail to needle number six I want this to be embroidered in the same color like the corner corner elements and the, and the scallops and once we have that we control S we save it this is going to refresh the preview and you're going to see you see it's going to be embroidered with head 11 in the correct position we will now add the little element on the right hand corner creating a new cycle so for this we select the cycle number two which is the corner on the right hand side we, we can now draw a rectangle again which will serve me as a guideline and then we select uh, all of the elements all of the segments and copy them to the clipboard and once we're done with that we can get rid of cycle number two without saving it of course okay we create our cycle number five load the little file which is the element on the right right hand side it, it is loaded and shows up here we're going to embroider that with head number one then click on the edit button this will launch that particular design element to a new tab let's zoom in we see the preview again of the, the embroidery area of head number one then paste what we had copied in the clipboard just before and you can see the position is is of that right hand corner element with the rectangle that i draw is, is very good because i can position everything now to the desired location change to needle number six and once that is done we can now delete the parts that we don't need okay so you see i'm going to move that a little bit more to the inside so it aligns to my guideline there looks good once we're done with it control s to save it and we are done with our cycle number five we're going now to create the center elements i'm going to add cir uh, cycle which is cycle number six 
load the center element file curtain center element and this will launch it and you see it in the preview there so for the center element we will have them stitched or embroidered with uh, head number two until head number 11 so each one of those individual heads I'm going to check mark them as you can see on the preview on the top we have them in the preview now the uh, the position itself for these elements i want them to be positioned more or less like uh, the top part of the element to reach the middle of the uh, of the corner element that's why I'm going to launch or select the corner element cycle number two. I'm going to edit it. For the purpose of having the position, the exact position of that corner element, I'm going to draw a rectangle shape around it, as I had already mentioned many times before for for positioning purposes so let's draw it right at the top and the rectangle and I'm going to select all those segments and copy them in the clipboard once we have done that we can close the tab of course without saving the uh, the changes once we have the uh, the parts copied in the clipboard we can now launch edit the uh, cycle number six and start our work with positioning that element in the correct position in, in the intended position so we see a preview again of uh, in this case the as head number one and head number two we're going to paste the corner element with the rectangle that I drew and place them, move them a little bit to the right hand side, move it out of the way, but in, you see in the height, in the correct position, so that I see where the, the corner element is located. And I'm going to select the center piece, center element, and move it exactly between Oh, the area, embroidered area of one head and the next head. Then uh, we are going to draw a guideline, uh, dragging a horizontal guide in the middle. And that gives me a good idea where the center of the, of the, of the corner is. So I'm going to move the center element around in that area. It looks good. Once we have the position in place, we can delete the corner and uh, element and the rectangle. We are going to have a look. We have saved it, of course, and we're going to have a look how the position is like, looks like. Looks good. Once we are happy with that, we can close the tab. And we are done with cycle number six. For cycle number seven, we are going to go to cycle number six and copy the element from that cycle, which is this one. Select all of the segments, copy it to the clipboard. Once it's copied, we close that cycle number six and we edit cycle number seven. Click on the edit button. This will launch that uh, cycle seven as a new tab. And we paste the segments that we just copied in the clipboard. Now this is the one element that I'm going to position uh, embroidered by head number two and place it to the most uh, right hand side so basically where uh, the area of head number one is starting so I'm going to create those guidelines by dragging from the ruler the guidelines in order to 
keep the same height of the position there and then we will reflect with the reflect tool those segments the result is a reflection in the vertical once that is done we control s we save it we are going to have a look how this shows up when we click or check mark head number two so we see on the top it's right there that's the intention i wanted to have i want to have it flipped or reflected uh, next to the corner the right hand corner so we are done there and we save it we are coming to the last part of our design i will create a cycle number eight and have those center elements with an offset uh, basically in the middle of the embroidery area of, an he of a head and offset by 50% with a reflection so that in my opinion that would look like a, a nice a nice distribution and, and completing the image or the design nicely to do so we will go to cycle number six click on the edit button and we, the purpose of this is we're going to copy that element therefore we select all of the segments control copy control C so it goes in the clipboard we can close cycle number six we select cycle eight go click on the edit button to launch uh, that cycle into a new tab once it shows up we paste what we just copied from the clipboard right in there now what i would like to do here is i would like to place a couple of guidelines dragging them from the horizontal ruler in order for me to have an idea where i'm going to position them once i have that we uh, we also find out the the center of the embroidery area a good way to find out is we drag a rectangle box in uh, the limits of those 330 millimeters this will give uh, give us a, a rectangle with uh, you see those little squares and that's where i place a vertical guideline from the ruler now we can get rid of the rectangle we select all of the segments from those uh, center uh, center element and place it right there in the center embroidery field center and i'm also going to position it uh, in this case it's a 50 percent and it's in the middle so once we have done that we will reflect it in order to have a nice a nice distribution of that element and we control save it let's have a look how this looks on our preview <coughs> we'll uh, have that cycle number eight we want all of the embroidery heads from 2 to 11 to have them embroidered so you start to see how it looks like on the preview window okay we have all 11 heads embroidering them to me it looks it looks a little bit congested so i would i would place them a little bit further down in order to to have a better distribution so it doesn't look as congested as we saw that so let's select the that element and move it down you see where the leaves are basically touching the the guideline which i place control save and we're going to have a look how this change looks like yes this looks much better now we can close cycle eight and this is the conclusion of this design we have a nice curtain element as you can see here